What is up everyone? It is DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video for my channel today. I am super excited to bring you something they said wasn't going to happen, but it is virtual DJ on the Din and DJ Prime Go. Now, the Prime Go was not supposed to have this done, but I knew probably through software updates and things like that it could be possible and I was crossing my fingers because the Din and DJ is one of my favorite products. I haven't got to use it a lot lately, but now that it has access to virtual DJ and uh, you know the portability and the uses that could be done with it is uh, pretty exciting. So I'm pretty excited to bring this video. I had to do it. Uh, I am big, uh, since day one, I've been a big virtual DJ fan just because of its ease of use and its availability to be free to you uh, at first is just quite excellent. The way it is so versatile, versatile with every product out there, I'm just super excited to bring this video and represent so thank you so much for tuning in it's dj martini midwest reviews and tutorials which this kind of will be i'm going to show you guys how to get this on the den and dj and then how it kind of quickly works and i'll try to do it as fast as possible so thank you so much for tuning in if you've never tuned in to dj martini midwest reviews please like subscribe and share help me carry this channel on i'm trying to get up to of everyone's goal of 10,000 subscribers. I'm a little low right now, so please help me out if you enjoy any kind of tech videos, tutorials, helpers, things like that. That's what I like to do. I like to review items, do positives and neg negatives, do all the research so you don't have to, and then also leave some links in case you guys are interested in some of the products. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get into the video, a lot to show you. Uh, I'm doing this for the first time as well, so I'm gonna show you how to get the update because it is a, a newer update. On the Prime Go, it should be automatic, but we're gonna we're gonna fail through it together, and I'll show you how to get it on there, and then show you once I get the software on there how uh, things kind of go together. So bear so, with me, guys. There'll probably be a lot of editing that I'll have to do with this video since I'm doing it for the first time. You're with me for the first time. We're gonna go ahead and get the update on the Prime Go, and then we're also gonna get everything going, make sure everything works, and check out Virtual DJ. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire the Prime Go up. I haven't used it in a while, like I said. Uh, I've been testing so many things because uh, I want to bring you all more videos, but I uh, want to show you this update and let's see if it automatically says or asks to do the update or if we have to physically get it off of uh, Engine DJ. So we will find this out real quick. So like I said, you're with me for the first time. Let's find out what it does. It does say it's updating my library. I do not have my actual library hooked into this right now. Uh, my SSD. Let's go see if it finds uh, any updates real quick. Uh, so I just pressed uh, view and my toggle together to get to my settings. And we're going to go down to about an update. Let's say I'm running at 2.2.1 on which I didn't think was the latest so, update. We checked my Den and DJ. I fired it up. It did not. It says I'm running the latest software, but we know that's not true because that said I was running the 2.2.1 and we need the 2.3.1. So we want to go and find that update. So you're going to have to go to the Engine DJ and you're going to uh, engine, engine DJ software page. So you're going to just look up update engine OS or just engine DJ. You'll be able to come to this page and then we're going to go to downloads because we're doing this all together here. And then you can see this does have the latest release, which is 2.3.1, and we want to select the device, and we're going to go find that Denon DJ Prime Go. You're going to go ahead and hit Download for Windows. I have a Windows computer. If you have a Mac computer, you go to Mac. If you want to do this via a USB stick, you can download the downloader and, and do it that way, but I'm just going to go ahead and download this onto my laptop. It's just giving me an update to make sure that you have the latest software of Engine DJ as well. Talk with uh, your uh, Prime Go and everything, so you have to make sure you have the latest OS system uh, of Engine DJ as well, is what that warning is, I understand. So we're going to go to our downloads over here. In the corner, you can see your little downloads. And as soon as this is done, and it says I can open it, I'm going to go ahead and open it. If not, you could probably find it in your downloads, in your... Uh, down here, you can find it in your file explorer in your downloads. But we're going to go ahead and just wait here and you're going to say open. So there it goes. It is opening and it's going to open the updater. And for mine, it's saying it's not verified. 
but we're going to go ahead and do install anyways. And here we go. Here's the updater right here. So I do have currently, I have my Denon DJ Prime Go plugged into my laptop right now. So what we want to do on the Denon DJ side. Bear with me guys. All right, so we got the Denon DJ right. And we're gonna go into update mode. Um, so we want to go ahead and hit that. And we're, uh, you go to your, your uh, settings, like I said, how I showed you earlier, which I will just back out just so I can show you guys how to do that. So guys, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and just bring down your view. You can also press the view and the uh, search button, but I'm just gonna bring it down just from the command center here and you're gonna go into your settings. I'm gonna go to updater and you're gonna go to update firmware and we're gonna go to the rebooter. So we're gonna go reboot. Yes, we wanna go into firmware update mode and it's gonna go ahead and shut down. So you can see it's shutting down and it's going to go into a boot mode where it's going to be ready to update. Shut down. I just want you guys to see all this so it is very easy for you guys to check this out. And then it's going to go ahead and turn back on. So now we are in our update mode and I'm going to show you how to go ahead and reboot this and then do our update as well. Okay, so we are in reboot mode. So now that you're in the rebooted mode and your engine DJ Prime Go is in, the Denon DJ Prime Go, sorry, is in this uh, condition, it's ready to reboot and do the update. So then we're gonna go back to our computer. And now that we are back to our computer, we have this page open because you opened the update that we downloaded onto your computer. Like I said, you could probably find that in your file explorer as well. And we're going to go ahead and start the update. It's make sure that your device is plugged in. It's going to want to make sure that the Denon DJ Prime Go is plugged in, ready to accept the update. And it has to be also plugged into the outlet. So it has to be plugged into the wall and the USB has to be plugged into your computer. And right now you can see that we are doing the update for the Denon DJ Prime to go to get the virtual DJ onto the Prime Go, which I'm super excited. So we're doing this in real time so that way you can see how long it takes and hopefully this is helpful for everybody to get this update on the prime go if you own it it's definitely something you need um, something easy to do it is going to be that update 2.3.1 so it's going to go ahead and program and it says i'm done and then we're going to go ahead and click done on this then side dj Prime Go is rebooting and it does say I have the 2.3.1 so that's excellent uh, notice in the back it is plugged into the wall and I do have it plugged into my laptop this is going to my laptop okay, you see I'm starting that rebooted with no issues whatsoever and now we have the update 2.3.1 so now that we have this update you can use some of the cool stuff that we'll talk about in a second uh, but uh, it is updating, so let it do its thing. You don't want to shut it off or anything. But once you have the update completely booted up and everything is going good, we have to make sure that it will operate with Virtual DJ. So then we're going to go ahead and open Virtual DJ. Make sure that you have the full version of Virtual DJ to be able to use this controller with it. But it didn't uh, affect anything else. It has all the new files. Uh, I usually hook up my hard drive right here to uh, this, but uh, music will work through Virtual DJ as well. So. so we are back, and I just wanted to update. So once you have the Denon DJ Prime Go updated from Engine Software, then we are ready to go to the laptop and make sure that we update a few drivers so everything will work. Now, I highly recommend that you go to the Virtual DJ's website to make sure you get all this right. And there is directions on how to get it done here. Um, there's a lot of videos out there, and that's why I'm making this one. But I just want to make sure you guys check it out. Now, I've heard that some older versions, if you have issues with the version that you have, you can get older versions right here of... Uh, virtual DJ and I, I heard a lot of people saying that the 8.5.7093 uh, is a good version because that was like the first version that came out with the newest update for Virtual DJ working with the Prime Go but I have a current version right now which is 8.57.2 uh, 
7105 and it's working just fine so uh, if you have any issues you can get older versions but my current version that it had me update to lately is working okay uh, for Windows at least so another thing I would suggest is going to the uh, hardware manuals and you go down to Denon DJ you find the Prime Go here right here and this is going to give you full instructions on how to get the setup going. You just go to the bottom here, go to setup, and it's going to tell you how to get everything going for setup, okay? Very important because there's a super important step here. So we already got the firmware for our Denon DJ Prime Go updated, but now you need to get drivers for your Windows. If you have a Windows computer, it's I guess it's a little easier with Mac, but I've had some issues with my Windows computer. But this was a very important step to fix that issue, okay? So go ahead and disconnect your Prime Go from your computer right now if you're going to do this step. Uh, make sure it's not connected to your computer. Do this separate, okay? So have your computer set up, ready to go, but don't have the Denon DJ uh, controller plugged into your computer, okay? Because it says right here that download and install this latest Windows version from Denon DJ, it is strongly advised to install drivers prior to plugging in uh, the unit uh, to your USB port on your computer, okay? This uh, device screen will not be operational if the driver is not installed, okay? So you won't be able to use the screen on the Denon DJ connected to Virgil DJ if you don't get this step done, okay? And they just kind of want you to uh, update the drivers separately just to, just to have everything be safe, okay? So this is very important. So we go to the Denon DJ page. It, it, it is on the Denon DJ page. Uh, so we go there. We go to our Prime Go. And you can see this Prime Go window right here. Prime Go kind of phasing in and out here. Focus is going crazy here. All right, so you go to the Denon DJ Prime Go page right here. And it is right here. It's this first one. It says Prime Go Windows Driver. And we're going to go ahead and download that. I already have it downloaded. So you're just going to download it. And it's going to go to your download files in your downloads. downloads. You can see I'll open my downloads. And boom, there it is at the top there, OK? But you do notice that it is in a zip folder, okay? So that means it's going to be in a zip folder. There's a little zipper on this folder, so we have to extract it. So you wanna go ahead and side click that and extract all, okay? When you extract all, it's gonna ask you where you wanna put that. I would suggest putting it on your desktop so you know where it is. If not, it'll go to whatever folder you extract it to, but I just had it go to my desktop yes. and you can see it's right here on my desktop. So I had it go to my desktop and then you're going to want to go side click. It's going to be a normal folder and you can go ahead and run as an administrator and go ahead and open it up and it will uh, start you download. I've already done this. So I'm not going to show you, but it's really easy. You just say hit run. It'll start to uh, ask you if you want to download it. You do. You update it. It'll say finish and then you're good to go, okay? I would suggest restarting your laptop, okay? Restart your laptop and all the drivers should be updated and good to go. So we did that step now. Let's go back to the instructions. Okay, so we're back on the version. So now it says now we have all the drivers necessary. You don't need this driver if you have, I guess, a MacBook. But we're talking Windows right now. So now we are ready to go ahead and start setting up. So the next thing, of course, you need to have the full version of virtual dj which will cost 299 if you don't have the full versions to be able to use the prime Control. controller and everything so that's another thing you need to know if not you'll only be able to use it for a certain amount of time and i think it's like 20 minutes or something like that so we're going to go ahead and fire up everything together and then uh, get into virtual dj a little bit so we are back and now i'm going to show you how to get this into controller mode so you can go ahead and use this as a controller with virtual dj which is pretty exciting so you can use two steps here. You can press the eject button over here uh, and that will take you to a source. Or you can go ahead and just go down upper tab and then you can go to source. And then we want to go, you, so you could pick up, you know, this is my SD card that's in it. I usually have a hard drive plugged into it. Make sure that your Prime Go is, it doesn't have to be plugged in, but it, uh, it's, you know, good to be, have plugged in. And then make sure that, you, of course, you have a USB cord going to your laptop. Okay. So then after that, go ahead and hit this computer icon up here at the top. 
and say, uh, you know, this will stop any audio and reset the player into computer mode. And that's what we want. Now that we are switching into computer mode, now we're going to go ahead and go to virtual DJ and open up virtual DJ. And that fast is going to open up detecting that th we have not only the prime go, but we also have the audio driver, which I had some issues having the audio driver. Uh, pop up for a couple times but then after I restarted my computer it worked so then you notice that the screen is automatically working so we want to go ahead and I do want to use the audio driver on the Prime Go so we're going to use that and we're just going to hit OK and then it's going to set up however you'd like your uh, equalizer controls or you know your stems things like that set up through your your uh, knob management there and then boom go over here and technically if you can set your laptop up to work with the lid down, you could you could shut the lid of your laptop because you can do everything right here through the Den and DJ Prime Go, which is fantastic because you have this great form factor, this very portable Prime Go, and it is a full controller right now. So I can size down. You can see that I have, of course, my notes here and everything. Uh, and I have this small little controller that I can absolutely control everything. So we can go to our view and change our view. It goes to our menu. Uh, we can completely go through all our songs or whatever we would like. We can load songs. Uh, let's see, let's go back to my view and I can go to all my folders that I have within uh, my whole laptop. So I have full access to everything on my laptop now, which is huge instead of just having a little bit of memory We have so much more because you can use your complete laptop and I can do everything through this This uh, small form factor. It is pretty awesome It is pretty exciting that the Prime Go can do this now and you can literally DJ get everything done that you need to do You have full access to the stems within songs to be able to take out chorus to take out uh, bass lines or whatever you want however you want to play and do things like that it is pretty cool and it, it, it works that that simple so I can go I'm not gonna play anything but I can go to all my songs that I have I can get into them and then I can search them I can load a song we're already loading I'm gonna load another track on my other side go back go to the view and boom I'm ready I have uh, both my songs there and I can listen uh, I can set my hot cues up right here. Uh, hot cue, hot cue, beginning of songs. And boom, I have them there ready to go uh, that quick. So it is very, very, very cool. I'm super excited. It's that easy. And like I said, I don't need to use my laptop. My laptop, you could, if you can set it up to close the lid and it still stays on, do that because you don't need it anymore. You can just uh, put it to the side. You could even set it underneath. Uh, I have a 17 inch laptop and it could literally sit underneath the Prime Go, even though I probably wouldn't want to set it on the screen like that. But yeah, you just set it down on the table and it will run. You have everything you need here to get going, which is very exciting because I am a super fan of Virtual DJ and this just makes it super easy. Also, the Prime Go is, you know, not as expensive as like a Prime 4, Prime 2, uh, some of the other controllers out there and you just get so much that you can do with this controller. So I'm enjoying this update. Hopefully this was helpful. This has been a little tutorial. DJ Martini Midwest. Uh, I might do a another video later on a little bit in more in depth on everything that you can get done, but this is just a general idea and how excited am I. And hopefully this was a great tutorial to help you guys get this up and running so you can use it. If anybody has any other questions, let me know. I will help if I can and get back to you as fast as I can. Hopefully this is one of the best videos and in-depth tutorial to show you guys how to get where you need to get if you guys are having some issues. Remember, I do have the Windows side of it. I don't know a lot about Mac, so uh, just to let you know that, but please like, subscribe, and share. I just wanna grow my channel. I'm really working on 10,000 subscribers. Uh, I wanna get there. Hopefully you all can help me out there. I love the idea of having Virtual DJ working on this and I can pretty much shut my computer lid and just use my controller. It's pretty fantastic. I'm, I'm excited and I hope you are too. Thank you so much. More videos to come on my channel. So stay tuned and we'll talk to you all later. Thank you.